basis i am going to tell you how it drives how it feels and just all the the struggles there might be some struggles which i have and the positives all the negatives which i feel are there in this car so right off the bat ekdam shuru mein jaise agar koi naya driver jisne kabhi kisi skoda volkswagen ki car nahi chalayi hogi usko to sabse pehli cheez feel hogi wo hoga ki steering thoda hard hai aur wo hard hona bura nahi hai you get used to it over time and it is more confidence inspiring पर यह है कि हाँ सिटी ड्राइविंग में थोड़ा वो हार्ड फील होता है जैसे अगर आप हिंडे मारुति इन सब गाड़ियों से अगर आते हैं अगर द स्टीयरिंग आर वेरी लाइट देन यू विल फील कि हाँ इट इज़ अ लिटिल हार्ड थोड़ा सा टर्न करने में स्पेशली जब गाड़ी स्टैंड स्टिल होती है एकदम एक, एक जगह पर खड़ी हुई आप पार्क करने में थोड़ा सा यू माइट फील ऑल दो यू गेट यूज टू इट थोड़ा एक दो महीने आप चलाते रहोगे यू विल यू विल फील दैट इट इज़ नॉर्मल नाउ सिटी की बात अलग है पर जब हाई स्पीड ड्राइविंग एंड टर्निंग एंड उन सब चीज़ों में मोर हार्डर स्टीयरिंग इज अ बेटर स्टीयरिंग इट गिव्स सो मच मोर कंट्रोल टू यू सो मच मोर बेटर फीडबैक एंड जस्ट ओवरऑल मोर यू नो प्लांटेड राइड यू नेवर फील दैट यू द कार इज नॉट इन योर कंट्रोल एंड इफ आई कंपेयर इट टू से ह्यूडे स्टीयरिंग विच इज़ वेरी लाइट इजी टू मनूवर इन सिटी ट्रैफिक बट वेन द कार इज इन triple digit speeds and you have to just do a maneuver like this to maybe save something something comes instantly on the road and you just have to move the car at that point of time uh, harder steering comes into play where immediate feedback is there which is lacking in a light steering so that is one thing you might you can take it as a negative i take it as completely positive because overall ride quality is improved second thing is the suspension the suspension is a little bit hard just a little bit doesn't compromise on comfort but some i'm uh, some cars i believe tata mostly all the tata cars have a better suspension setup in terms of comfort but again since the suspension is a little stiffer here you get again a better ride quality in at high speed so basically this is a very good car to be driven at high speeds so these are two great positives which can be looked as negative by you know other car owners generic driving it is very easy aisa kuch nahi hai jo ki kafi different ho except these this indicator and all ye sabko pata hai pag cars different sides so indicators here in spite of being on the right side and the wipers are here in spite of being on the where it should have been but that also you get used to again it's a matter of Which car you are driving? Yes, the headlight thing is here. This is also different. You get a switch here, which is generally not there in any other car except Skoda and Volkswagen. The AC is good. The AC is amazing. I have had no complaints from it whatsoever. And the car just generally drives so well. Now one actual negative in this 1.5 diesel is the engine noise. The engine noise is very apparent especially when you are driving at uh, around 1500 to 2000 rpm. If you are driving at say city city speeds 50 60 kmph and in your fifth gear car is okay. Uh, not that much noise. but when you are hitting speeds of over 120 let's say a 140 150 and you even if you are in seventh gear then obviously the diesel engine is it's revving higher than usual and it does make noise but you will be surprised when you are driving at comfort speeds and the car has shifted into say sixth or seventh gear and it cruises so nicely so calmly and you will not even feel that you are driving that same engine ki yahi wohi engine hai jo itna shor machata hai wo ab itna shant hai unbelievable and it just gives you ample power to take over i say take over i am i should say overtake <laughs> it gives you ample power it gives you ample fuel economy see right now you can also see i am driving in almost i'd say stop and go traffic getting 13. Point, 13 kmph fuel economy 
Yeah, there it is. So that's rather good when the traffic is so. I wouldn't say it's, it's very heavy, but it's very stop and go traffic here. Usually on in city drives, I get over 15, and on highway drives, 20 is easily easily claimable. So again, uh, uh, in the mind, that fuel economy is only about cars and not about engines. You can do fuel economy on any good engine. You can do it on just your driving habits. You can do it on which way you drive. It depends on that. If I drive it hard right now, I will press the accelerator and I will drive it fast. I am not saying outright speed. If I drive it fast, this will drop to 10, 9, 8 even. But generic driving, 13 to 20 is the range you get from city to highway. So, which is pretty good considering aaj ke time pe 1.5 is a big engine for a car this size jab yehi rapid aaj 1 liter mein bhi aa rahi hai so i say that 1.5 is a big size engine for today rest i don't see any negatives aur ek misconception thoda sa market mein ye bhi hai ki skoda ki volkswagen ki service cost bahut zyada high hai सर्विस कॉस्ट बहुत ज़्यादा हाई नहीं है, लेकिन पार्ट्स के कॉस्ट थोड़ी हाई है, थोड़ी नहीं काफी हाई है पार्ट्स के कॉस्ट एक्चुअली, सो आई वुड सजेस्ट टू एवरीवन नॉट ड्राइव लाइक दिस। तो करो गाड़ी ध्यान से चलाएं, ताकि ताकि कहीं ठुक ठुक ना जाए, ठुक जाएगी और गाड़ी के पार्ट्स � I have a recent bill which I can show you. I'll add it in the video. Parts replacement and service cost. My recent service cost was 27,000. But there were two parts replacement which was almost 7,000, 8,000. That was the cost. And some filter replacement. I would say a normal service would cost you around 10,000 to 12,000. I would say the service would cost you around 12,000. Even if I take it to 15,000. And even if I take it to 20,000. One service. All you need to get done is one service in one year and that's it. Generally, any other car, any other brand, you will have to get it serviced at least um, three times a year. I used to get the, my Tiago serviced uh, every quarter. Every three months I would go and get it serviced because you will feel, you would, you would feel that it needs it. And here you just need to get it done once a year. Now the Tata service used to cost me anywhere around 7,000 to 8,000 per service. That's like if I get it serviced three times, even even three times in a year, that's twenty four thousand. If I take it to eight thousand, eight. And if I take it to the higher edge, eight thousand, then it is twenty four thousand in a year, and this cost me twenty a year, so it is cheaper, relatively much cheaper. Although I wouldn't call it that, but yes, the service interval is long here, so it's beneficial to us as a customer. Parts cost, on the other hand, parts cost is uh, way too expensive. The headlights cost somewhere around forty thousand. The tail lights, tail lights used to cost 3500 but now they cost 4800 because I re recently got it replaced. When I got the coat, they said 3500 But when I actually went to get it replaced a, year, uh, a month later, they told me now the prices have been revised and it will cost you 4800 Now I had no choice since it was cracked, I had to get it changed. So yes, that is one thing that you need to take care of. Apart from that, I would recommend everyone to get an extended warranty just for this purpose because parts are very expensive. The, the comfort, the audio quality of the music system, everything is great. Overall, I would say when this car was on sale, on the, it's discontinued now, when this car was on sale, I don't think for a, a, as a driver oriented car, there was a better car available in the market at that point of time. and. When you go to the used market also, when you are trying to look for this car over there, there are not many sellers there. There could be two reasons. It didn't sell that well. Second reason, people don't want to sell it because they want to keep owning it and keep running it because they like it. And both the reasons apply here. It didn't sell as well as a Hyundai or Maruti, but for a Skoda, it sold pretty well, especially when the Skoda Rapid Rider model was introduced. It sold quite well because they were offering uh, this is a full size sedan and at under 10 lakhs and it was a pretty good deal amazing deal actually so people who actually appreciate a good driver's car they are not willing to sell it they are still using it and they are loving it now it might lack you know the 
विजुअल क्वालिटी की ये गाड़ी का इंटीरियर थोड़ा और पॉश होना चाहिए था दो काइंड ऑफ थिंग जिनको फीचर से थोड़ा प्यार है कि हाँ फीचर्स और होने चाहिए थे दे माइट नॉट अप्रिशिएट इज एज मच बट एक्चुअली आई आई डोंट फील कि मुझे कोई एक ऐसा कोई भी फीचर ऐसा है जो मैं मिस करता हूँ इस गाड़ी में कि होना चाहिए था ऑल आई रिक्वायर द मोस्ट यूजफुल फीचर इज मैप्स विच आई कैन कनेक्ट माई फोन बाई द यू एस बी केबल एंड दैट्स इट All necessary, all necessary features that you actually need, that you actually need are there, like foot lamp. Although a little bit over the top, but foot lamps are a great addition. I I I have not seen that in any car at in a ten ten lakh price bracket. People do get it from, done from outside, but factory fitted foot lamps is such a great addition. I I loved it when the first time I saw you know light at my feet, and I was just wow. Okay, this is a good addition. There is cruise control, which is again amazing. This is the DSG gearbox, again amazing. People who are aware of this gearbox, it comes with its own reliability issues. But I, this car is already three years old, and I have been driving it for almost seven months now, and not a single issue with the gearbox or any other part of the car except a power window, which was faulty from day one. But I am getting it replaced under warranty, so no issues there as well. There is a there's some this this thingy is an uh, alarm system. So if the car is locked and there is movement inside the car, any movement is detected while the car is locked. So that means somebody has tried to enter the car. So it will immobilize the engine. And I'm not sure if it actually uh, you know puts up an alarm or the car starts making some sounds to alert the owner because nothing like that. Now I have not faced the situation yet. But yes, I do know that it will immobilize the engine, and whoever is trying to steal your car won't be able to. That's again a a pretty good feature to have, a, a unnecessary feature I would say, which I have not seen in anything un, at this price range. Maybe in uh, high-end cars it would be there, but yeah, it's really well done. Quality of the interiors, although it's all plastic, but it's all good plastic. In other manufacturers, you would see. That they are carrying over their uh, buttons and switches from the smaller cars, from the hatchbacks to the sedans. For example, Maruti does. They take all their switches and everything from their Swift. And any car they make, it's the same switches everywhere. Whether the car is 10 lakhs, 15 lakhs, 20 lakhs, doesn't matter. They just use the same switches everywhere. Here, what I have seen so far, there is a trickle down of technology. For example, they they using parts from the Octavia, from the Superb in the Rapid. Which is which is just amazing. I see buttons quality, the quality of the plastics used is just so amazing. There are no rattles from this car whatsoever. It's going to be a four-year-old car. Take a four-year-old car, any car from any manufacturer, and show me that there are no rattles whatsoever. It's everything here, nothing squeaks, not at all. What all? What else do you want? The brakes are amazing. The acceleration is amazing. The fuel economy is great. The the gearbox is mind-boggling for you know what this car offers. The power, I it can extract much more power, but what you have already is enough. If I compare it to any car like a Honda City, I'd say it was a direct competitor to this one. Honda City is also a fun to drive car. I won't say that it is not, but it is more comfort oriented the suspension is a little bit softer and one thing that i do not like about it is it nose dives the city nose dives whenever you under hard braking it does that thing which is because of the softer suspension there was uh, which other car can we compare it to right now there is a, the slavia which i have driven slavia is it's a great car no doubt it is a little more comfort oriented now it's not as the steering is lighter it is still good it is still good it is still chuckable but it is not as good as this one and i think the reason is because uh, as uh, as a general thing people prefer that my steering should move with my finger like all hyundai cars do have this and i'm not saying that people should not go for it then go convenience मैटर करता है ज्यादा दे शुड गो फॉर इट बट नॉट इट इज नॉट जस्ट अ मैटर ऑफ कन्वीनियंस 
when your steering moves with a single finger and it does not weigh up when you are driving at high speeds it's not like you are never going to drive at high speeds at some point in your life you will be driving at 100 120 130 it's not going to be easy to maneuver that there is a what is it called it feels like a virtual steering even the recent uh, Hyundai Verna which I drove the 1.5 turbo that car has a, an amazing engine amazing power delivery but the steering was so poor the steering had no feedback no feel whatsoever if you're driving at that high speed and you have to chuck your car like this see, you can't do this you, you can't do this in any other car and that is what makes this one of the greatest cars at its price point and I would hope that no parts <laughs> no parts get damaged and I can continue to own it for as long as possible without shelling out much bucks and that about wraps it up I hope people don't start commenting on the video that Greta is a better option hai. I wish, I wish this car had that option. Seat me se hawa aane wala. Especially in India ki garmiyon mein. But it doesn't and I have to live with it. Uh, but it's fine because I enjoy driving it. Every time I have to go somewhere, I am excited to drive it. I don't feel, uh, uh, there is no lethargic thing over me ke aapne chalani padegi. Wo feeling mujhe kabhi nahi aati. It's, it just automatically sides me that okay it's fine even if I have to go a long way even if I have to drive 5 hours 10 hours it's fine because I know that I will enjoy that journey so yes this car will make you enjoy the journey and that is what life is all about enjoying the journey bye bye so I got 17.1 kilometers to the liter in 49.6 kilometers so i came from gurgaon to faridabad thoda idhar udhar ghume and city traffic is samjho and red lights normal traffic thode bahut khali roads but generic jaisa traffic rehta hai so this is pretty good fuel economy overall pretty good can live with it actually it's amazing